Okay, so now we're going to do um, a few more commands. So for this, I want you to uh, we're going to we're going to download uh, another file that we're going to play with. So before we get started, let's download that. So we're going to go back to the GitHub page, go up to the top, and click on data. And then we're going to find this file that's near the bottom called survey scores 2015 underscore t. And we're going to do the same thing where we go to uh, raw and let's do the copy that link. Or you can also copy and paste it into a file, but let's do the curl thing. So we're going to do curl dash capital O, double quotes, hit enter, it's going to download that, and then we can look at that file, we can type cat survey scores. Again, I'm using um, tab completion for a lot of this stuff, so I, I start to type the name of the file and then I just hit tab and it will fill the rest if there's nothing else with that same name. And so this is just a basic comma separated values file or CSV file. And this happens to be the survey data from a previous year. But uh, it's a nice um, example to use for, for, the, for today's lesson. OK, so first we're going to cover some commands for parsing and, and sorting. So uh, there's a command called cut, which is useful. So uh, there's a lot you could do with this. but um, for this example, we're going to do uh, cut dash D, and then in quotes, we're going to put D stands for delimiter. So this is the, the thing that is what what cut does is it gives you a. Um, in fact, we can try our help command here. Yeah. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, we also type man cut. Um, gives us some information, but what cut does is it pulls out a certain field of a, of a, like a comma delimited or tab delimited or any kind of table type file. So you can type cut dash D comma and then dash F. Um, let's just say we want the first field, so we'll just type one and then survey and hit tab and it will fill out the rest of the name of that file. So what it did now is it printed just the field number one of that file. So this, you can imagine this is super useful um, for, for various reasons. And of course you can do stuff with that, with that output too, which we'll see in a second. You can also do something like uh, use a range. So I want Let's say I don't just want the first field, I want the first three fields. So it will now give me um, the, first, the first three fields. And uh, don't worry about this, There's some, this person didn't list an answer, so that's blank. Um, so that could, be, that could be really useful. Um, the next one I want to do is... Um, is said. So said is a uh, stream editor is what that stands for and it's a way to kind of make edits to a text file in your bash shell. So what we could do is um, we could type set oops we can type um, said and then we're gonna put the whole like kind of operation in a in single quotes. So we're going to type said, and then S is uh, for substitute. This is, for me, this is the most useful operator, so that's the one I'm going to, going to cover. Um, you type at, uh, lowercase s, and then a backslash, and then the name of the thing you want to find. So let's say we want to change the word Windows to PC. So we're going to type Windows, and then a backslash, and then PC, and then a backslash, and 
if we just want to change it the first time we see it on each line, uh, we can just leave the command like that. But if you want to change um, every time you see it in a line, which I think is more common, you type you end with a G, which means global, which means I'm going to change every time I see Windows, I'm going to change to uh, to PC, and then we type the name of the file. So survey, type the first few letters, hit tab, and then let's hope this works. Hit enter. Ah, uh, didn't work. Let me. Oh, it did work. Sorry. I was looking at the... I was expecting it to look like this. It did work. Okay, good. Um, so we changed Windows to PC in uh, every line where it appeared. Um, okay, there's another... Let's show a few different variations on this. So another way we can do... Um, use these kind of commands is... Um, we can cat the output or cat a file which is to print a file and then pipe that to another another command or another program so we can cat survey and then we we pipe the we this is this pipe operator that that's just listed below um, we type shift um, forward slash or it's this button up on the upper right of your screen so we're gonna make a bar so we're going to cat this file, we're going to print this file and pipe it to something else, and that's going to be said. Um, the reason I do this is for me, um, oftentimes I'm not quite sure what I want to do with the file. I know I want to start with that file, so I can cat that file and then pipe that output to another command. So now when I type said, I don't have to type the name of the file at the end. Um, so. Yeah, I probably I can add that. I will add that that word file there as to, to tell you that you can put the word the, the the name of the file at the end of the command. But um, but what I can do is so I can pipe that output to to said. And now let's say I want to change um, all the zeros to the word zero. Um, and now I'm not going to type the G and we'll just see what happens. So what happened was um, whenever it, it counters the uh, a character zero it will convert that to the word zero but it only does it the first time because I didn't put that little g. So if I want to replace every inst every zero with the word zero, I can type that little g, and now every time it comes across a zero, it's going to change it. This is not very useful in this case, but you can imagine certain cases where this would be useful. Yeah. So when you do this, the changes aren't saved, right? Yeah, so the, the changes are not saved. All it's doing is printing it to the screen. So if you want to save it, you can use this uh, redirect operator. So that's, that's a great question. So let's go back to this example. So let's cat survey. We're going to pipe it to said. Little quote S. And we're going to change Windows to PC. And just in case, we're going to do it globally. And now we're going to redirect that to, we'll call it survey to dot csv and hit enter now nothing is printed because instead of printing that output to the screen it printed it to a file so now if we could type less survey2 dot csv now we can see that file and now we've changed the word windows to pc in this new file so that's a great question and that that's Exactly how you would typically use this um, when you're when you're using it. There's a related command um, in Perl. Uh, I won't I won't go through it, but um, I first learned to, 
to code using Perl, and uh, it's really powerful, especially for doing text modification um, and a bunch of other stuff. But there's some additional um, functionality um, that you can use if you want to use this command. Um, yes, most um, most operating systems have have Perl, so um, you can type which Perl and it will it will tell you where to find that. Um, and most have Python built in, but it's a um, usually it's Python two and not Python three, which is what we'll use in this class. Okay, another um, command that's useful. So let's um, let's look at this file we just created, Survey Two. So there's a um, there's a command called sort that's really useful. So we could type sort Survey Two. And it's going to sort this sort of alphabetically or numerically, in this case, um, sort this, this file. Now, this could be useful for a number of things. Um, where it really gets useful is in if you want, um, you combine it with this command called unique. So, in fact, we can even combine it with another command called, with the, the cut command. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to combine several commands. We're going to cat survey2, and then we're going to pipe that to cut uh, little d. Uh, so we're going to delimit using the comma. We're going to get field3. So let's just hit enter and see what we get. So this gives us the um, the computer of each person. And um, but we're not done. So what I just did was I hit the up arrow. It gives me the last command I entered. So now I can I can make changes to that command. So now I want to um, sort. If I hit, if I just hit enter now, you see now it's sorted alphabetically. It's it puts the um, uppercase and lowercase are sorted separately in this way. And finally, I can run this unique unique command. So what this does, unique gives all the unique uh, lines in a file, but only if they're consecutive. So you have to basically for this to be useful, you have to sort the file before you, you run the unique command. Otherwise, maybe it's useful, but it's not as useful for me if, if they have to be, if they're not already uh, sorted. So you type unique, and now you just get the unique lines. So now we can see all of the different, um, we can see only the, the types of computers just listed once for each. There's another parameter for unique that's uh, dash C. And this will count the number of times that each one is found. So this is really useful also. So we can quickly see that there's three PCs, eight Macs, two Linux, and one blank. There's, there's uh, ways we'll see to do this kind of stuff in Python, but um, when you're just in the shell, this can be really useful. Um, Um, like sort by one thing and then like another yeah. thing. Um, not in, as far as I know, not in Bash, but in Python, yes, there's lots of stuff you can do in Python to deal with data frames. So this is um, this is kind of for data triage. I, I like to think of or like um, if you're like somebody, if you if somebody hands you a, a file and, and you're like, hmm, I have a feeling that like that that sample ID might be listed more than one time, you know, and you can quickly like, so when you have a list of sample IDs, you can sort and get the unique. Uh, the other thing you can do is um, uh, 
you can use this um, word count command. I'm not sure. Did we cover it last time? I think we. I think we did. Yeah. So, for example, um, we can go to this last command. Instead of doing unique, we, we sorted it, and now we get. We can type word count. So there's 15 lines. There's 15 uh, lines in that in that file. But if we then do sort and then unique and then word count, there's only five unique lines. So that's a really quick way to say, okay, how many unique lines or how many unique sample IDs or something do I have in this file? So you, you sort unique word count is, is super useful. Question? Mm -hmm. right. So, can we actually do that when we do like uh, story and unique? Yeah, great question. So uh, the question is, um, we still have this column name in our analysis, and it's kind of annoying, right? We'd like to ignore that. There is a way. Um, do you remember the command? The commands head and tail. So head gives you like the first in lines of a file and tail gives you the last in lines. So there's a way to do tail that um, gives you only the lines after a certain number. So uh, if we then, so if I do, so for example, I can do head survey two or tail survey two. But what I really want is if I cat if I just do cat survey two, what we really want is just this part, right? Without the header. So what we do is we do a command tail um, dash n plus two survey two. So dash n two would give us the last two lines. Dash n plus two works totally differently. It gives us the last lines starting at line two. So basically it gives us the whole file except line one. So you th it, it is the end of the file, but it's the end of the file. It's the whole file except for line one. So this tail, um, this tail uh, dash n plus two command you might use a lot if you're doing this kind of thing because that, that removes the header. Another one that, that you might use is um, you might do something like head dash n1 survey 2 and then to redirect that to header dot CSV. Now what we've done is we've saved so you could split off Let's say you wanted to split those off, and you could do this tail and get just the data, and then you could get, so if I just remove, if I had not redirected, it, that just gives us the header. So that might be useful too, right? You, ha you have a separate file, maybe you keep them separate, or you want to um, rename. So a lot of stuff you can do in this way. <laughs> 